the main power of the quantum computer comes from the fact that it's able to process something called quantum information. And so the power lies in, in what we mean by quantum information, why that's richer and more useful than the classical ones and zeros that we use today. And the answer is about exponential growth. So you may have heard of the story of a chess board, and the inventor of chess that uh, impresses the, the sultan and asks for a reward of uh, taking the chessboard, one grain of sand on the first square, two grains on the second, four on the third, and so on, always doubling. And the sultan says, yes, okay, that, that just provide this, this rice, rice, that can't be that much. And of course, by the time you get to the end of the chessboard, it's more rice than, than can fit on the planet. And, and it's the same idea with adding qubits together. When you take one qubit, it can exist in two different states, and in this exotic state, which is two different states at once. But when you take two qubits or three qubits, then the space expands exponentially. And so this, if you want, the, um, the memory or the computational space that the quantum computer mm. is allowed to roam in while it's solving a problem grows exponentially as you add qubits. And that's really what gives quantum computers their power.